Good morning from Arizona, and welcome to my Nugget Shooter Journals. Today I was just kind of out randomly cruising around. We're out in the Arizona desert, as you can see. Uh, just beautiful out here this morning. Just gorgeous. Look at all these saguaro cactus. But anyway, I was cruising along. And I spotted this. Or it looks to be an old clay marker from a long, long time ago. I'll hit it with a metal detector when I come back up here and, uh, in a minute and see if there's a can in it with any kind of uh, clay, old clay marker. But obviously somebody was here. And the wash itself is just full of bedrock down here. Really nice looking stuff. This baby saguaro. Just a little feller. He's only about two and a half feet tall. But this wash down here, as I walk down and look at it, oh, let's get in here. It looks to me like a long time ago, somebody has actually thrown some material up on the bank here and throw some rocks out. So I'm guessing this got worked to some extent. But look at the bedrock showing through there. Schist bedrock. And there's greenstone in there and ironstone and more of the schist bedrock showing through here. And we got some rhyolite down there. Oh boy. Look at that pack rat nest up in these rocks. I bet Bruno's glad he's not with me today. I'd have to put his new boots on if he was. So anyway, I want to putter around in this wash a little bit. And see if we can't scrape a nugget or two out of it. Looks pretty good to me. So anyway, I'll be back. Well, this is definitely what I was hoping to see in this wash. Looky here, guys. And gals. But uh, right there. That is a dry wash tailing pile. Right there. The header pile. There's no fines showing. Um, probably long ago washed away. And we're not very far from the buggy. It's right over there. But I'm going to work uh, up and down this wash a little bit. I've already dug a uh, 22 shell casing. And uh, no gold or anything. Look at this cactus. I just chopped right off the top. You know, a friend of mine told me stories about how the old timers would uh, mark spots by chopping the top off a cactus, but I've sure seen the tops off of a lot of cactus that uh, I didn't find any gold around, but who knows? Who knows? But there's another pile right here. It looks like they threw up out of the wash, and I can see another tailings pile down farther, so we're going to have a look. Alrighty, I got a faint target right in, right in here. Where I, you can see where I hit the rock with my coil there. I don't know if you guys can hear this. I got headphones on today because... In all my infinite wisdom, I forgot to charge my amplifier, so I don't have the benefit of my amp today. So, I got a headphone side up, but listen. Sounds like a faint target in there. Right in the bedrock. Still hear it in there. I like these when they're in the, the rotten bedrock like this. Now it's sounding a little better. Sounding a little better. This is just juicy in here, my friends. This stuff is uh, shallow. Obvious the old timers were in here working it. Hmm. Still something in there. I'm going to go after it with a pick. Break up some of this rotten bedrock and move it. See if we still have a signal. Could just be a hot piece of ground too. It happens. Okay, see what we got. Okay, it's moved. I don't think I'm hearing my camera. Hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna move the camera back a little. See if I'm hearing a camel leg or my target. Still in there. I'm gonna take some of these rocks off the top. This is a very strange signal. Huh. Could it be a rock? Okay, move these. No, it's right in here somewhere. Right in there. Still there. Caught it. I got some kind of static going on in my headphones. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, I got that ring on my finger, don't I? Ha! I should know better than that by now, you'd think. That's what you'd think. It's in my hand and it doesn't look good. It looks to me like it's this right here. Piece of chewed up foil or can. Got down in that crack somehow. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I hope you can hear the signals. I know it's tough through the headphones, but uh, yeah, we'll keep hunting. What these guys were doing right here, I do believe, is they were just throwing this stuff up out of the wash. And you can see this isn't natural laying here. It was thrown up there by the old timers. They were taking a top layer off to the bedrock. And they didn't care if they lost a piece of gold or two because they were getting so much gold off the bedrock. And you can see where they just scraping this flat area. Just taking everything right off the top. And uh, over here is where they threw the big rocks. And they're working this little bend right here. They worked it pretty darn hard. So I'm gonna check this pile up here on the bank. I always check them, there's gold in them quite often. Well, hopefully you can hear this. I got another target in the bedrock here, right up on the edge. Right in there. Right in there. Now we got a little flatter, we can get a better listen of it. Funny sound of little target. I got static on my machine. I don't know what's going on here. Is it the headphones are bad or the cord? Huh. Can't figure that out. It's got to be a plug right here. Oh well. All right. That's down in there pretty good. Break it out of here. Okay. Where'd it go? And I guess I got it out. Hopefully it's not hot rock. Huh. Well, where'd it go? 
go. There, maybe. Turn the camera. All right, there it is. Yeah, it's pretty loud now. Right in here. I think we caught it. Sounds like there might be two targets. Huh. Let's see what we got. Already in my hand. Don't need any more tin foil. Oh, I see it. It's gold. Um, see right here? Look right here. It's a piece of gold, I think. Yep. Right there. Yeah. That is a dirty little piece of gold. Right down in that bedrock. Well, wah hoopy do. Yeah. yeah. Not much uh, personality to it, but it's gold. It's definitely gold. I've got a jar here. And I do. All right, so that was right down in this schist bedrock. I'm not cussing there. It's schist. S C H I S T which is a uh, metamorphic rock formed by heat and pressure and uh, slate, shale, stuff like that. Um, and it produces schist. And it breaks up in what we call uh, layers. And it's called foliation. So these cracks right here, it's like a deck of cards almost. Some of it really looks like a deck of cards. That's just the way the stuff breaks up. And uh, these gravels come over the top of metal and gold in it and uh, it gets caught in there. I thought I heard a second target. I'm going to check here. I'm not sure if I'm hearing the camera or what here. I'm going to move it. Yep, I'm going to move it over to here so we're not hearing it. Let's see. Guys, here in the camera. Yep. Okay. I'm pretty happy, happy, happy. Yeah. So there is gold in this wash. Absolutely. Now I got to take it down in the bedrock right here. I gotta put up my headphone. Here we go. There we go. Maybe you can hear this. Pretty faint. These are what I was talking about. Poor Bruno gets into. And uh, see how the center of that's eaten out? And there's some more right here. Right by the camera. Ow! That one got me. But the uh, there's no food in the desert when it's dry like this. Ow, ow, ow. And the pack rats and stuff pull these little balls off the choya, the new growth, and uh, they eat the centers out. And then they just throw these laying around, man. They're like little landmines. It's terrible when you step on one. They'll go right into your boot. Anyway, let's see if we can't. All right, we'll try with the scoop first here. Yeah. 
All right, something small. Well, maybe not. It's down in the bedrock there. So, let's give it a little... Uh, scraping. All right, we moved it. Right in there. Right in here. Yeah, get this thing off. It got tethered to me. Okay. Yep. Nope. I know I heard it. I know I moved it. Okay. Somewhere right in here. Huh. Stubborn. And you can't go much deeper. Really. Right there. Right in here. Huh. Oh, I think I saw gold. Maybe not. Oh, maybe. I don't know why this detector keeps shortening and out. I'm going to have to look at that when I get home. Something's not right. Okay, we got the, whatever it is. Detector just shut off. Is that darn cord? Hmm. Hate to have to order another one of them. They're expensive. That's not what I thought I saw, apparently. Huh. Well, I don't see much. It's supposedly still in my hand here. Really? That? Oh, no, there it is. It's gold. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Right there. Right there. That's a little gold nugget right there. Kind of a funny-shaped little thing. Right there, that little guy right there. I know they're hard to see, but yeah, that's a small one. Nice little piece. Whoop, whoop. That's two. That's my kind of day right there. Now that one is right here where we got this little, uh, waterfall looking spot right here you see the gravels are pretty deep up there and then it comes down over here and it washed this whole little area out right here behind these rocks and it exposed that bedrock now i'm not sure i would have heard that if uh there had been gravel on top of it there was a very faint signal might have been outside or something but uh anyway that's two nuggets ah yes all right, we got two targets in here. We got one here. See it? Real faint, and another one here. Very faint. We're gonna dig this one first. Let's see if it's still here. Yep. This is bedrock, all through here, all this bedrock. 
This stuff is laying right on top. Still in there. Oh, okay, that'll move. Ah, uh, let's see what it sounds like. Under here. Okay. I'm in there a little ways, right on the bedrock. Ooh. Well, if that's a nugget, that's going to make my day. Wow. That's bedrock. We got it out of the hole. Ooh, come on, baby. All right, you can see what we got. Oh no. Uh, piece of flat tin. Oh man, I've been digging a lot of that today. If I showed you every one of these, I dug you would uh, think I was insane. I'm not exactly sure what kind of bedrock this is. It's some sort of a granite material, I do believe. Um, not positive. I'm not a geologist, so I had struggled with some of that. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Something right down in here. Yeah, right on the brain, right huh? Okay, it's up in there. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to break that up with a Maybe my pick, where is it? Oh, it's way up there. Oh. Okay, get the protector away here. Oh, that's solid. Solid. Still there. Getting a little louder, we're getting closer to it. <sighs> Get in there with this guy. Oh, I bumped the camera. I didn't turn it. Sorry. Jeez. Here we go. I don't know if you got to see me dig it over here or not. That's making a lot of noise, but well, anyway, we got the targets right here. All solid rock down in there. Uh, in here. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Still there. Oh, we, oh, I see it. I see it already. I see it, I think. Uh, yep. Uh, see right here? Yeah. Dug it out of that crack. Sorry about the light there. I can see it laying there. Right here. Right. Right there. That's the nicest one yet. Ooh. Okay, there's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's gold, my friends. Right out of that crack in the bedrock, right up in there. Nice little piece. Yep, nice little piece. 
These look like they're all like stringer veins, which is kind of common around here where the, the gold is in these little stringers. And uh, it erodes out and forms placer deposits. Very cool. Oh, very cool. Not a bad little rough little nuggy. Hasn't gone far, has it? Well, I dug that little nugget right here. Well, actually, that one was pretty good size. Cornflake, right there. I'm just fixing to fill a hole, and I looked over here. There's a marker of some kind right there. Piled up right at the edge of the wash. It's been there a long, long time. wonder what that was all about. It's marking a wash right here. Which makes me think I should walk up this wash, probably. Yeah, I might do that. Maybe today or maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a marker right here. Yeah, there's a lot of this wash left going downhill there. Yeah, I'm going to dig for a little bit more and get kind of hungry. I think I'll have me a bite to eat here in a minute. I thought I'd take a minute and show you something here. Um, this is a saguaro that died. And as you can see, it's got all these ribs inside. And then inside that, there's a uh, kind of a pulpy material when they're alive. But that's the skeleton, the skin, and here's what the arms look like where they come off. They just kind of grow out, and a lot of people collect this stuff, but it's really not supposed to. And look right here. Look at all that schist. Nice and foliated, going up the hillside. Yeah, you can see some rhyolite up there. Mm, my, my, my. Yeah. Yeah. That makes a nugget shooter's mouth water. And that was a good healthy one right there. Yes, sir. That's, that's a healthy one right there. Yep. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Pretty cool. Yeah, they uh, look pretty funky when they, when they die. And uh, those things actually come out and you can make really good walking sticks out of them. And back in the day, the Indians would get the long straight ones and uh, use them for a shaft on a spear. Worked quite well, apparently. Well, not too bad of a hunt. I'm sitting here having some uh, tuna on crackers, getting ready to call it a day, I think. Just enjoying the quiet out here, but not bad day. Yeah, looky there. See, there's my gold. Yeah. Three pieces. They look good cleaned up. Yeah, they'll look good cleaned up, won't they? But yeah, that's my take for the day. We'll see if we can get them in the sun. I think they look better out of the sun, but there you go. Not bad for a hunt in a new little spot. He just got photo bombed or noise bombed by the phone. I didn't even think it'd work out here. But anyway, I'm going to go up that little wash over there that has a marker on it another day. I'm too wore out to climb up that big old hill right now, man. I dug a lot of trash today. Mostly little pieces of tin can that have rotted away. But I'm going to have me a little lunch and uh, head on back to the ranch and relax for the rest of the day. Three nuggets isn't a bad day for this old fool. Yes, sirree, I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. Look at there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not real pretty nuggets, though, are they? But you know what? Gold is gold, my friends. I'll take it however it comes. So, for now, if you like these videos and uh, you want to come along on another trip or two and uh, maybe learn a little bit, I try to teach if I can. I don't know a lot, but I'll teach what I do know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, all joking aside, this has uh, been a fun trip, and I just noticed too, I'm sitting right here, and look, I'm on a flat area right here, and they're bringing material up here and dry washing it, right there. Yep, those are header piles right there. Huh, interesting. So anyway, there you have it. Please subscribe and uh, like, I think I already said that, but if I didn't, I'm trying to drive that point home, but I like to answer questions and I like to help you folks out as much as I can. For now, my friends, Nugget Shooter on a beautiful December day in uh, Arizona.
out 